Alright. Hello everyone and welcome to my NFL Week 10 Power Rankings, okay? Let's just hop right into it. Here are the rules. I look at the combined score of the offense and defense from lowest to highest, or really points scored versus points allowed. If there's a tie or there's three more ties, I look at the best point differential to worst if that's tied. And look at the win loss record if that's tied. I look at the win streak if that's tied. I look at head to head if that's tied. Schedule difficulty that's tied. Coin toss. Now, the worst team, even though they won, is still the Miami Dolphins. They still have the second to worst uh, scoring offense, uh, only scoring 103 points. And they still have the worst scoring defense, allowing 256 points. With a negative 153 point differential, they have a 1 7 record, 63 points. Th there's only, you can not, there's no way you're gonna get much worse than that. The only way you can get worse is, you know, 64, which, you know, you can't do considering they. At least not this week. Uh, Washington Redskins went down a spot. Uh, they have scored 108 points, 30th in the NFL. They've allowed 219 points, 26th in the NFL, a negative 111 point differential, a 1 8 record, and 56 points. Then you have the New York Jets. Uh, they have scored 96 points, worst in the NFL. They haven't even reached 100. They have allowed 211 points, 22nd in the NFL. It's a negative 115 point differential of 1-7 record, 54 points. The Atlanta Falcons. Uh, they have scored 165 points, 24th in the NFL. They've allowed 250 points, 28th in the NFL. Uh, it's a negative 85 point differential, a 1-7 record, 52 points. Then you have the New York Giants. They have scored 176 points, 20th, tied for 20th. They've allowed 255 points, 31st in the NFL. They have uh, they have a negative 79 point differential, 2-7 record with 51 points. The Cincinnati Bengals went up to 27th. Yes, they are 0-8 and, and they moved up to 27th. How does it work? Well, it has nothing to do, again, with your wins and losses. It has nothing to do with who you played against. That's important. The, it, who you go, uh, Who you have played against is not a factor here. Okay, it's about how good you, your scoring offense is and how bad your scoring defense is. And despite not winning a single game, they have scored on 24 points, 29th in the NFL. They've allowed 210 points, 21st in the NFL, for a negative 86 point differential and 08 record for 50 points. See, so the defense is not the worst. That's why they're up there. Now, Cleveland Browns. They have moved down to 26th. They have scored 152 points, 26th in the NFL. They've allowed 205 points, 20th in the NFL. Negative 53 point differential, 26, 46 points. Arizona Cardinals move up to 25th. They have scored. They have. They're tied uh, for 15th in scoring offense, scoring 195 points. They're 29th in, with points allowed, allowing 251 points, a negative 56 point differential, 35. 3-5-1 record, 44 points. Oakland Raiders. They have scored under 82 points, tied for 18th. They've allowed 216 points, 24th. Negative 34 point differential, 4-4 record, 42 points. Detroit Lions. They have scored 204 points, 14th. They have allowed 217 points for 25th. Negative 13 point differential, 3-4-1 record, 39 points. They have moved down to 23rd. Moving up to 22nd are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They have scored 230 points, 8th in the NFL. Yes, they have a top 10 scoring offense. Look at that. Their problem, the reason why they're losing so many games, is because they have allowed 252 points, 30th in the NFL, for a negative 22 point differential and 2 6 record with a 38 point tie. Denver Broncos. Uh, they have scored 149 points, 27th in the NFL, but they've only allowed 170 points, 11th in the NFL. If they had an offense, they'd be doing a lot better. That's a negative 21 point differential, a 3 6 record, and a 38 point tie. Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, they ne need a much better offense. They have scored only 176 points, tied for 20th, but they've only allowed 189 points. The defense could get better. They're not quite 
a top tier defense but they, they need an offense to win more games which they're probably going to get with Nick Foles so it's a negative 13 point differential 4-5 record 35 points moving up to 19th the Eagles need a defense they have scored 224 points 11th in the NFL but they've allowed 213 points 23rd in the NFL plus 11 point differential 5 for record 34 points moving down to 18th the Bears have the opposite problem they need an offense they have scored 142 points 28th in the NFL but their defense has only allowed 144 points 5th in the NFL a negative 2 point differential 3-5 record 33 points the Indianapolis Colts they have scored 182 points tied for 18th in the NFL they've allowed 177 points 14th in the NFL plus 5 point differential of 5-3 record and 32 points the Indianapolis Colts I guess need a better offense or something they seem to be a well-rounded team though now we get to the halfway point now we get what's supposed to be the better half of the NFL you got the Tennessee Titans they have scored 168 points 23rd in the NFL they have allowed 165 points 8th eight, in the NFL a plus 3 point differential a 4-5 record in the 31 point tie moving up to 15th at the Carolina Panthers they have scored 209 points 13th in the NFL they have allowed 204 points tied for 18th in the NFL a plus 5 point differential a 5-3 record in a 31 point tie the Seattle Seahawks they have scored 248 points fourth in the NFL their problem is their defense they have allowed 230 points that's 27th in the NFL a plus 18 point differential 7-2 record and 31 point tie the Pittsburgh Steelers they have scored 176 points tied for 20th in the NFL but the defense surprisingly not that bad uh, only allowing 169 points actually 10th in the NFL yes a top 10 defense look at that Plus 7 point differential, 4 4 record, 30 points. Buffalo Bills moved down to 12th. They have scored under 58 points, 25th in the NFL. They have allowed under 31 points, 3rd in the NFL. Their defense has done pretty good. Uh, plus 27 point differential, 6 2 record. The Los Angeles Chargers, 183 points, 17th in the NFL, 168 points, 9th in the NFL, allow points allowed, 9th in the NFL. A plus 15 point differential a 4-5 record uh, 26 points again Chargers their offense isn't getting on fire at all now we get to the top 10 and moving down to the 10th spot the Los Angeles Rams scoring 204 points 214 points 12th in the NFL and allowing 174 points 12th in the NFL plus 40 point differential 5-3 record 24 points the Houston Texans moved up to ninth, the ninth spot they have scored 238 points, 5th in the NFL. They have allowed 191 points, 17th in the NFL. A plus 47 point differential, a 6-3 record, 22 points. The New Orleans Saints, uh, they have scored 195 points, tied for 15th in the NFL. They have allowed 156 points, 6th in the NFL. A plus 39 point differential, 7-1 record, 21 points. The Kansas City Chiefs. They have scored 252 points second in the NFL. They have allowed 204 points tied for 18th in the NFL, plus 48 point differential and a 6-3 record, 20 points. The Baltimore Ravens, yes, they beat the Patriots. Yes, I get that. But it's, again, I don't just factor in bonus points for beating a good team or bonus points for wins and losses or whatnot. I look at how good their offense has done thus far and how good their defense has done thus far. That's what I look at. I don't just, and then I combine the two. I don't give a team bonus points for beating a really good team. Okay. Now the Ravens, they do have a top three offense scoring 251 points. But when it came to the defense, they've allowed 13 points. Uh, they've allowed 176 points, which is 13th in the NFL. Plus 75 point differential, 60 record. That's 16 points. Now the 16 points is the main factor here 3 plus 13 16 that's why they're ranked right here granted there's other teams that haven't faced the Patriots and there's other teams that will face the Patriots later on that haven't yet but in those teams that haven't and won't I get that but again I can't just give out bonus points for beating what's considered a good team that's not what I look at here okay that's whenever that goes in 
and I start being opinion based. This it could be an outlier game. The Patriots could be better than them still. They could be they could be a, the number six best team this year in the NFL, and this was just an outlier game. Who knows? We will see where they end up at the end of the year. Now we get to the top five. Top ten should be playoff contenders. Okay. Top five should be Super Bowl contenders. In fifth place, you got the Green Bay Packers. 226 points scored, 10th in the NFL. 189 points allowed, 15th tied for 15th in the NFL. 37 point differential, 7 2 record, 15 points. Minnesota Vikings moved down to 4th in the NFL. That's 234 points scored, 7th in the NFL. 158 points allowed, 7th in the NFL. A 76 point differential, 6 3 record, 14 points. Now we get to the top three. These should be the favorites to win the Super Bowl, to win it all. Who gets the bronze? Well, surprisingly, the Dallas Cowboys. They have scored 227 points, ninth in the NFL, and they've allowed only 142 points, fourth in the NFL. A plus 85 point differential, fight through record, 13 points. Who gets the silver? Not surprisingly, San Francisco 49ers. Since Francisco 49ers did not get moved up to first, because again, I don't look at wins and losses or stuff like that, or who they've beaten and who they haven't. I look at just how good has their offense been, how good has their defense been. I don't factor in all these other stuff that you can't really mathematically factor in, or at least I haven't found a way to do that. Now, the 49ers. They have scored 235 points, that's 6th in the NFL, and they've allowed 102 points, 2nd in the NFL. That's, they have a plus 133 point differential and an 8-0 record, that's 8 points. Who gets the goal? Well, it's still the New England Patriots despite their loss. Why? Because they still have the best uh, offense, they've allowed 270 points, they've scored the 270 points, that's 1st in the NFL. That can easily change this week though because they are not playing this week so their offense could fall down in points scored but when it comes to defense they have allowed 98 points and that they've allowed the fewest amount of points and they're the only team that hasn't allowed 100 points and through they're not going to allow 100 points this week there's they're, they're still going to have the best scoring defense because this week they're not going to be able to no one's going to be able to score on them so that's going to stay the same. What's going to change would be the offense. We'll see how far down it goes, if it falls down. For sure it will. I think it's going to go down to either two or three, though. Now, the Patriots, they have an 8-1 record, a plus 172-point differential, and two points. As of right now, despite their loss, they're still the number one ranked team in the NFL, according to these power rankings.